Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today we're going to be creating our Vitals class. So let's go ahead and open up our project in Unity 3D. We'll right click on our character class folder, create a new C Sharp script, and just call it Vital. Now if we double click it, we can open up Mono Development. And our Vital class is going to inherit from the modified stat class. So let's get rid of the using statements. We'll get rid of the functions that Unity gives us as we won't need those either. Set up our inheritance. And our class name. Now our vitals class is only going to have one new variable in it. And that's going to be the, the current value. So think of your health bar. Your base value, or what we're going to be calling adjusted base value, to take into consideration the buffs and the modifiers that we have, will be your maximum health. But as you get hit and you lose health, you want to be able to have a value that stores that as well. So we're going to make this a private integer. And we're just going to call it current value. Now we're going to set up our default constructor, so public vital, and we'll want to set that current value, uh, let's just set it to be equal to zero. That way every time we create a new vital, we'll know exactly what its starting value is going to be. Now let's also change the experience to level, uh, let's make it 50. Don't forget the equal sign. And I'm also going to adjust the experience that you need to, to level it up. So it's level modifier. And I'm going to set that to 1.1 and make sure you put the F for the float. Now let's set up its default setter and getter. So we'll make it public. It's going to return an int. And we'll just call it curve value. We have our getter and our setter. We'll do the setter first because it's going to be the easiest. It's just going to be current value is equal to value. Now our getter is going to be a little bit different for this one. At the end we are going to return the current value but we want to have a quick little check in here. What we want to do is make sure that our current value, so our, our current health, is not greater than our, our maximum health that it could be. So the way we do that is just create an if block. So if our current value is greater than our adjusted base value, I'm getting two of them here, so I've, I've obviously haven't renamed something properly. So let's go look at our modified stat. And I call it adjust base value. And that should be adjusted. We'll look at our base stat, and it is adjusted base value. Okay, so we'll save off. Make sure you save the modified stat. We'll go back into our vital. And now we'll see if it automatically shows up in our drop down menu. So adjusted base value. So if it is equal, we'll just want to set our current value to be equal to our adjusted base value. So if your character has, for instance, in this case, 100 health maximum, and let's say he takes a few hits, he's down to 60, uh, drinks a potion that heals, say, 50 health, uh, he'll be up to 110 health. And we don't want that, because he only has 100 maximum. So we'll set him to 100, then return it. Now, just like we did in our attributes class, we're going to create a public enumeration. We'll call it vital name. And then in here, we'll want to make a list of all the different vitals that our character is going to have. Uh, for the game I'm going to be creating, there's only going to be three. 
So I'm going to have health, energy, and mana. Now, just like the attributes, you can add as many as you want or as few as you want. Uh, make sure there's no spaces, so you can't have, you know, health, health. If your vital does have two names, make an underscore, and we can address how to get rid of this underscore when we're displaying it later. Now, this is it for our vital class. It was pretty short and pretty simple to create, simply because we're inheriting from our modified stat, which of course adds the modifier for us. It takes care of all the code for that. And that's inheriting from base stat, which does pretty much all the heavy lifting for us. So in our next video, we'll go ahead and create our skill class. And it's going to be just as easy as it was to create our vitals class. I'll see you then.